Sapphire Control LE is the free software that comes with the Sapphire hardware. It's essentially a tool for creating latency-free mixes for the monitors or for headphones, as well as featuring some one-click presets that change the routing and functionality of the hardware. So over on the left half here, we have the input mix section. Now, this is where you set the levels of the inputs on various stereo output pairs. So these levels here aren't the levels that you send to the sequencer for recording, um, but just the levels of these of all six inputs on outputs one and two, with the top six faders here, and outputs three and four, which is also the headphones, on the bottom six. For example, I've plugged my bass guitar directly into line in one on the front panel here. I've set my line mode to inst rather than line, and I then use the gain dial to set my level of input 1, making sure that the overload LED doesn't light. But by far the best way of setting the level of input 1 is to view the meter of input 1 within Sapphire Control LE, right here. Hey. So now, like I was saying, if I want to set a level of the bass on my headphones, then I can use this fader here. And if I set that to minimum, you'll see that if I play, there's still a healthy level going to my sequencer to be recorded. I just won't hear any of that bass on the headphones. So over on the right hand side here, we have the playback track mixing section, where you can mix your backing tracks or your pre-recorded tracks from the sequencer, from Ableton. So this is literally whatever's assigned to outputs 1 to 8 within Ableton will appear on these corresponding faders here rather than routing directly to the Sapphire LE hardware outputs. So this is so you can literally create um, an independent mix of these backing tracks on the monitors using these faders here, and then on the headphones, outputs 3 and 4, using these faders here. And I'll demonstrate how to create um, specific mixes of both inputs and playback tracks on the monitors and the headphones in the advanced monitoring section later on. In the centre, you have your level controls, for all six analog outputs. You have gain dial for one and two, three and four down the bottom, and then five and six in the middle. You have mute switches for each one. And then one and two also has uh, a dim switch and a mono switch. And then you have two sliders. Up here you have a slider for the monitors for outputs one and two, which allows you to blend between the playback mix you've created over here and the input mix you've created over here. And then exactly the same thing down the bottom um, for the headphones for outputs three and four. Lastly, there are preset and software settings buttons in the bottom corner down here. And these will be explained in more detail as we go.